What's up, everybody, and welcome to the Hayes Demon Show. We managed to make fourth place this week in the gold league. Still took us up 15 crowns, a little bit higher up. We were ranked 105 or 102 in the world. So let's see what position we are now. Well, we will look here in a minute. Uno momento, por favor, mi amigos. Apparently my cat thinks I'm talking to her. Hey now. Hey now. I thought it was an epic, but it's only a rare. Sorry. Alright. Uh, we got Jesus. It's good. It's good. It's good. Good, I guess you want to come into the help. show again? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Meow. Meow, wow, wow, wow. Alright, so we got ourselves here four themes to roll with here. We got ourselves 57 copies away for level 6 Nymph Nicole. Yeehaw, and you know it. Wait, I want to look and see what where we are. We are 101. Oh my goodness. We passed Nan Blues. And now we are one away from top 100 in the world. Oh my goodness. Egan. Um, let's see here. For the... Votes between Stan the Great and Diabetes. Both of these are very good cards. Uh, but I think that the Stan the Great's ability to hit more than one unit for one extra energy can be much more game-changing. Classy is actually pretty good in Team Wars, even though if Storyteller locks into the new kid, he'll never die. Even if he has, like, no health whatsoever, he won't die unless he gets hit, attacked. Uh, Dragon Slayer Red, 100% you're going to want to use on Classy or something here. We'll see here. Definitely. Changeling Red, is, Changeling Red can be good, but it's a very risky card, and not a lot of people have it leveled up. But it doesn't need to be leveled up to take a card, though. Ned is, like, one of the best ranged units right now for three costs. He doesn't necessarily have, like, the best stats ever, but his attack is fast. So it makes up for him having lower attack, and then he can heal tanks, which I don't know if we have any tanks. It looks like we do. Uh, and so we have two different Dougies here. One of them is to just get the bar. One of them is to make the next person uninstall the game, your opponent. So that's what you're going to do with go ahead and uninstall the game with this card. Fireball. Way better than Chomper ever could be. This is a defensive two-cost card. It can help you rotate the deck, sure. Uh, but the fireball is actually going to do something. Actually. Blood of Bebe, always better than Robo Bebe. I don't know why anybody would pick Robo Bebe. Even whenever there's tons of chickens to give Robo Bebe or a speed boost, or the health boost, and the speed boost would probably be better at that point. It doesn't matter! It's not worth it. And then obviously, between these two of the best tank units in the game... But one of them is one more energy and will not die if Ned is sitting right behind him. Now, if he gets fireballed, obviously he's not going to live very long. But Ned, but Zed isn't, Zed isn't going to do that. Zed, yeah. All right, and then we got between um, Big Mesquite Murphy and Osimo. And our team doesn't know... My team doesn't know consistency here. Okay, last time we had this option on the main team, everybody went Osimo. Now, for some reason... Everybody wants to go Big Mesquite Murphy. So, no. No, 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 no. Awesome O for your slow motion opening gameplay. Installing on your side and freezing multiple units. Big Mesquite Murphy can do some interesting things uh, if played into a good situation but as a start of a, c a card you would rather start with hit awesome than big mesquite murphy lava and purify both of these 
Suck titers. Um, there is nothing to purify in this game, so lava, you have to do it, which pretty much nerves, um, classing. We have Palin Butters, Princess Kenny. Princess Kenny does attack faster, but her negative attack isn't long. It used to be longer, and it, it needs to be at least one or two more seconds longer than it is now. The shield is just so much better. Even though it basically does the same thing, but the shield protects you from multiple enemies rather than just one enemy. And then we have ourselves Mecha Timmy or Master Ninju. Master Ninju and, and Ned and Jimbo and Blood Elf Bebe, that's pretty much a guaranteed game over for the enemy. As soon as you have those two units and you drop drop Ninju, the game's over. Um, and if they especially if they don't have it too. Uh, the Mecha Timmy, you could kind of see where the problem would be. Uh, Mecha Timmy could mind control the Jimbo, and then it would turn around and, and kill Ned. Maybe. Doubt it. Can't do that much damage. Uh, but the Mecha Timmy would lock on to Ned and kill him. Now, of course, you could use Commander Hat to get rid of Jimbo and then run Net and, and then run Mecha Timmy and Zen, I guess. I don't know. I don't know, but I don't think that's such a great idea. Now the the Commander Hat on probably one of the big units makes more sense. There's no removal, so there's no reason to be afraid playing Osimo. Uh I definitely think Ninju. Like you just get in that one situation when in Blood Up Baby and I mean and the Babies can be buffed too, the Osimo can be buffed too. You know, I mean, obviously, everybody can be buffed. Um, I'm not really seeing a lot of potential for the mind control. Now, it would be funny, though, if you mind controlled the enemy's ninju as he was using it. That would be funny. Um, <laughs> or maybe mind controlling the commander hat, but it's just not really very good options there. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the alternate account. Let's see if we got a legendary. Yay! We managed to get first place. And for the first time ever, uh, the second team was really close. You could say really close to beating us with our mostly base card levels. Somebody's cheating on our team, changing numbers on me. They are. I probably will just go ahead and let it be completely upgrade everything once we hit bronze. Uh, we're not in bronze yet, right? We're still in wood. Woodchuck Chuck Norris. Some of my teammates in this team ran into level 6 commons, level 6 rares, level 4 legendaries. Mr. Happy Dude Grows, I do believe, going, you you at sure Woodley. So it wouldn't have helped him if we leveled things up Epic anyway. Card. And it looks like we did get a legendary yes, for the alternate so account. Epic. What's it gonna be? Show me, Shield Maiden Wendy. Mr. Hanky, Christmas Poo. He loves me, and I love Poo. Uh, I mean, it's nice to have the level two. Yeah. Yeah. I just got level five of him, though, on my main account. And I don't really care for it. <laughs> like, he, he can be good. I just, I don't think I really... I mean, I, I was playing Gizmo and, and Kyle can make it work for sure. And I don't care. I'll vote later. Alright, guys, that's gonna be it. Oh, the balance. The balance update. Oh, the balance update. Uh, they're gonna. I'm just gonna tell you guys off the top of my head. They're gonna buff Friar Jimmy. They're gonna make his healing 50% higher. They are going to increase his st uh, health 27% and his attack like 11% or something like that. And then they're um, then they're changing Imp Tweak so that he doesn't randomly choose a target. And now he has a circle, and I guess he still randomly chooses a target in the circle, but then he will stun them, he will pull them closer to the center of the circle, and then um, he'll do damage to them. 
which sounds pretty good. I just kind of hate that they would change him tweak because that was like his iconic role is switching places with units and no other character could do that in the game. Pretty sure. And they're getting rid of it. And they're, they're saying it's because there was uh, bugs. And there was bugs. They said it was so slow to transfer the units because it was a really slow ability um, that, they, that they would cause bugs if they tried to make it faster. But who cares if it's faster or slower? It's really not about it being faster or slower. It's about that whenever you defend yourself and then your opponent goes to defend themselves, you play M Tweak to snatch one of those units in the back and pull it into your units to kill it before you move to the other side. Uh, it, it really had its purpose. I really liked it. I didn't use it all the time. You know, they're increasing his, his stats. I don't know what they are. They're making his, his health a little and attack a little better too. I'm pretty sure. But they could have just did that. They could have just made his stats better. I kind of liked what he was before. Even though I didn't play him that much. But no other character could do what he did. Um, and now he is going to be... He is going to be technically more viable, I guess. Because generally, you want to be able to get rid of the enemy's back row. Like, you got tanks in the middle and you got enemies in the back row. Uh, and if it can target the enemy back row and pull them closer to the midline, like if it just targeted the farthest unit away, I think it would be a lot better, but like general disarray. But if it's still random, it's just going to be dumb. It's going to be dumb. Uh, and so then the other things that they did was they nerfed Ink and Craig and Inuit Kenny. They nerfed in... The amount of chip damage they can do. Both of them. I don't know the numbers. 50% maybe on Inuit Kenny. Maybe 50% on uh, Ink and Craig. So basically the chip. The era of chip damage. After like two and a half years. Is finally over. Except for like you know. Now you now you really have to play Marcus. And what I, and just whatever you know, and uh, and not just not just defend naturally and win the game, uh, and get lucky with Inuit. Um, but alrighty, guys, that's gonna be it. Thank you all very much for checking out the Hayes Diva Show. Have a wonderful day, wonderful night. Don't forget to bring a towel. Peace out.